episode 30 of the Planet of the Times. Final episode of the first season. Next episode, first episode of the second season. So, since we're still not all you can eat with the Kentucky Buffet, low tech graphics, I have business card of Casey Carlisle. Whom I love. I do. I do. My Twitter. 101 people following me, but not literally, because that'd be Scott Durden level creepy. My Facebook, my forum spring, my YouTube. Picture of Isla Lodge and a top loader for the people that watch only for this sole purpose. They don't care about anything on the show, just they focus right here. Some right there, but most up here. Stompin' Steve, Beast Barnett, Count Grog, countless others, and my referee heavyweight championship of refereeing, which I earned this week because I refereed every single match on the show. Disqualified half the matches. Can't disqualify anyone in a battle royal or before. I almost disqualified D.V. Sullivan and Randy Zeller just for having a bad match. That close. That close. Oh, I think I set a record. Now, coming to you this week from an undisclosed city in Oregon. That's right, we went south to Oregon. And right here, that's who gave us the park, so thank that guy. Apparently. Now, if you look closely here, statue of a puppy dog chasing a squirrel who's running to an owl. A food owl, yes. In theory. Now, last week, Buddha got to, you know, phone bomb people. Almost gave out numbers. I uh, say, if I dial this, 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 I'm like, no, 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 no. Because you don't want to do that. That close. He almost had heat. I saved him again. And, of course, on Friday, Tyson Judge coming on. Great interview with Tyson Judge. And then, following that, Cedric Nash came on. Casey Carlisle. Whom I love called. Yes, she did. And then, the Yemeni's terrorist and his buddy pal, Double R, the eye gouger. They had to call in too, but if it leads to Casey Carlisle getting booked, I'm all for it. All for that. She can take the place of at the pay per view. We'll sell some tickets then, won't we? Yes. And if I happen to, you know, be the referee and defend the referee heavyweight championship of refereeing, your shoulders are down on Casey Carlisle. One, two, three. Fast count. I don't care. We're doing that. We're all just DQ at the opening bell. Pete Carlisle was going to get raised. Either way. Either way. But this week coming up, this Sunday, I'm down in Oregon. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Don't pump my own gas. Can't do that. It's against the law, apparently. Too hard for people. So, I'm down here in Oregon. Going to go see Blue Collar. Because why not? Because I'm here. I'm in town. I'm around the corner. Might as well. And tomorrow being Monday, and kind of free, kind of free. It's Memorial Day. Well, it's like the, the anniversary of Nitro debuting. To two hours, Scott Hall invading the NWO coming in. That was like a long time ago now. But it, it happened Tuesday. To Lounge apparently will probably phone bomb people. Probably give out his mom's telephone number. Get her all kinds of calls from Nawa your own fault. Yeah. Not saving you this time. Can you repeat that number, I'll say? Yeah. So Wednesday, though, probably run your wind sprints of QT can come up. Perhaps a corporate meeting at the corporate offices. Maybe D will show up. Maybe we'll all want to get some wind sprint duty in there. Gotta get in shape. Sometimes I referee entire shows and disqualify half of them. So, Thursday, though, I don't think I'm really doing anything Thursday. Next 
Friday. Sugar Knee returning. We're going to be talking baked goods because we sent him some tasty pastry treats right to his office there in Sugar D's hometown. He's going to be eating some baked goods, reviewing them live on Sign Guys Wrestling Show. Perhaps our DT USA expert will call in. Probably be late, but she might call in Stompin' Steve. So, Sugar D coming in, going to be huge because he's always fantastic. Next Saturday, I'll be at EQ. I'll be referee like every match, wrestle half the matches, set up the ring, break down the ring, promote the show, sell the gimmicks at the gimmick stand. I pretty much do everything there. Pretty much. Yeah. And I want Darth Carta. If you're listening, Crystal Broza of EQ, the president of the company, I was serious when I called in when that idiot Darth Carta got on your show and demanded a match. I want the match. I want that match. Sign it. Sign the contract. I will put my name on it. Darth Carter will probably scribble an X because he's not very bright. He's pretty stupid. He's a stupid, stupid man. And he's not a very good fighter. That's why I'm going to beat him. You have Mad Matt Miller on the show. Why not me? Wrestling Darth Carter. So, no tickets because it's a free show, but you have hundreds of people there watching it, buying your concessions and your gimmicks. Give me the match. Any match. Steel cage. Hardcore match. Like, chicken on a pole match. Anything. I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. Yellow. Yeah, you're you're on live on the sign of the times. Yes, we're booting it. We're booting it. Speak loudly. Oh yeah. So. Oh come on. We got to. What's wrong? Oh, oh man! What if we we edit it? How could you not trust me to edit it in in post production? I nearly cripple you one time in a game of basketball. Uh, you got a point. Yeah. Yeah, you got me there. So, PJ Barbarino would be, like, really hurt if you didn't. Well, you know, he'd still be hurt. Yeah, you go into my studio, and then it lays it out, and it's basically the same. Yeah, they changed it four or five months ago, but it's not a very big change. Wow. All right. All right. Well, I, I will call into the show with PJB in a little while then. All right, bye. I'm not really going to edit it. We're going to leave it in. I'll take the heat later. <laughs> that was good. Take that, Buddha. I just stole your gimmick. Yeah. So, I forgot to point out the water fountain. Actual working water fountain. Next to the squirrel, who's next to the puppy dog, who's going after the owl. Food owl, yes. Good organ water. Good organ water. So, reviewing. You don't call me if you don't want on the show. If I'm taping, I'm taping it. You're on the show. So it's gonna be boom. You're on it.
but last episode of season one. Next week, season two debut. Hit all the gimmicks. I love Casey Carlisle, I do. Sunday, which is today, I'll, I'll go to Blue Collar. Probably watch this on Monday because I won't be going to post it till then. Monday, kind of free, it's Memorial Day. Tuesday, the lounge. Wednesday, wind sprints. Big D, QT, corporate office meeting. If JD's not like horribly upset, maybe he'll show up, do some wind sprints. Maybe QT do the one arm push ups like Buddy Rose. Thursday, kind of free. Friday, Sugar D coming back. Sugar D, Saturday at EQ. I'll probably build like a brand new arena from scratch, set up the ring, referee, me versus myself, sell the gimmicks at the gimmick table, referee it, why not, then I'll disqualify myself, I'll pretend I'm Buddy Highway, yes, because I do that, don't I, Buddy, gets me heat with my nephew using a chain, I have to DQ you, try not to use a chain next time. Getting me heat. But, next Sunday, oh, next Sunday, and I will cover that next week with a good guest next Sunday. So, uh, season one, episode 30.